What's happening guys? Ooh, Camaro on the left and here, the speed shop. Uh, so we're gonna work on this hot rod today. Uh, I'm gonna level with you. Yeah, a bit of a rough day, so I'm just kind of not overly feeling it, but I do want to get something done in here if I can. So we'll see how much uh, videotaping I want to do, but uh, we'll get kind of started, see where we end up. Um, we're kind of committed <laughs> To how this quarter panel is i mean it's been solid welded at the top and across the uh the trunk and all that sort of stuff the, the previous owner had done all that i've just kind of tacked it in a few spots so the damage i've done has been rather minimal uh but anyways we're gonna go put this thing together man the amount of people say i'm hacking this thing together and it needs like a full restoration and all that or uh well they're people so i think what we're gonna do the quarter's just kind of held on with a couple of these self-tappers, which honestly isn't too bad. The quarter has to go, you can see this lip, so the whole thing has to go a lot word, but it's not going to fit because this is jammed up against the rockers. There's some material or something on the backside here causing it not to fit in properly. And then on top of that, we have uh, nothing here. So we're gonna have to drill some holes or, or yeah, drill some holes, I guess. So we can plug weld it to the uh, inner fender or inner uh, outer wheelhouse, sorry. So I'm gonna pull the wheel and we'll just kind of see what we're looking at. We'll pull these kind of couple of screws here. Um, otherwise, cause it's just attached up there. So we can kind of just pull it out a little, see what we're working with and uh, Honestly, I don't think it should be that bad to make fit when I look in there, but we have to do that and then just kind of decide how the door is going to fit because we're kind of hitting a little. So we have to adjust the door scotch or who knows what. I mean, it kind of is what it is. And realistically, the quarter panel is kind of happy where it is. Uh, clearly, on a car like this, the quarter panel is welded onto the shell. The door and the fender are both adjustable. And based on what I'm seeing here, all of this structure looks to be a little rusty original. So in all reality, if we match this up to this piece, which so just has to go over a little bit, the quarter panel is as close to in the factory location as it's going to be. So I think I did a pretty good job. I, I can't really complain too much. It's, uh, you know, the welds are, they're fine. We'll grind them down. We'll rewall whatever we think. And we'll get it into place and then if we have to adjust the door forward or up or down or whatever it is there's lots of adjustment uh the hinges here as well as the in the door itself and then as for the fender same thing you can slot shim move you know hustle and bustle actually just looking at this we can move the door up i mean quite a bit let's be honest there's uh there's an eighth or a quarter at least of you know, door going ahead, which is probably what should happen. So I'm going to start just kind of buzzing away at this, put it in a podcast, see where I end up. I'll bring it back uh, when things are going terrible or terribly good, one or the other. Uh, honestly, it didn't really, wasn't really that difficult. Um, I clamped this over, so it's, you know, it's all in line doing its thing. That was the same I'm doing the other one, so we can burn that in. There was actually a little structural piece here, which... Uh, I just kind of grabbed the self-tapper and I pulled it in. There's just a little bit of a gap, but uh, same front and back. But this, look at this, like this is beat. It's been pushed in. So I think it's probably pretty well in line. And uh, I mean, the door, you know, the door has to go in a little further, even if anything. So that's fine. We've got a bit of a gap there so we can adjust the door. But I think the quarter's happy. As happy as it's going to be. The wheel tubs are in. Ah, the, mine did the same thing. So, like I can, I'm, I'm touching the end with my finger there so you can kind of show. The quarter and the wheel tub, they're joined. There's no space between them. I drilled some holes so we can plug that in. And then back here, same thing. There's just a little bit of a gap between them, but we can kind of get that taken care of. Uh, this was the same as the last car I did as the, as the quarter panel is like a stamped. It shows up on camera, but it's kind of angling kind of down. I think it just needs a little bit of a hammer to at least be, you know, straight or flat. So I kind of started on this side, but what I'm going to do is we'll start plug welding that all together. And as we go, we'll just kind of knock it up with a hammer and it'll give it a nice 
nice round edge and match it to the inner tub, which will allow you know nice even fitment and it'll be just fine. So honestly, we'll get that done. Uh, we'll wire wheel all in here, get that taken care of. As for the frame and all, it looks pretty good. There's a couple of you know, mediocre welds here. We'll just kind of clean those up uh, with the grinder and probably just seam seal. It looks, I mean, it's fine, I think. And yeah, I think that's kind of that. It's, you know, honestly, I know it doesn't really look a whole lot different, but at least it's going to be all secured and nice. So we get that taken care of. We'll weld a little patch in down here. I'll have to cut just a little section that needs a little fold. So that's all rotten away. So we'll uh, maybe cut this out, make a little piece. I don't know. We'll figure figure something out. We got all night. And then the other side, I don't know. I think it's actually a little beat as well. Oh, it's a, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is homemade. That's what that is. It's got a little bit of roughness there and cut off there. But this side actually fits. You can see this side fits nicer. But I think that's just because... This is an all beat to hell. So yeah, let's get to the other side. <clears throat> Start burning it together. What's the worst that'll happen? Ah, don't answer that. All right, so we're all after it here. The plan is, just gonna put a couple ugly welds at the front, right through the rust. Don't worry, I'll come back and grind it. Probably not. So we'll just make sure this, oh yeah. Oof. Miller just loves the rust. So you get started. Yeah, I'll, I'll come back and wire wheel that, I promise. Now, this one here. Should be able to plug I'll plug weld this. Yeah. That's a good metal. And then this should not. Spring away, perfect. And yeah, that's, as you can see, that was clamped. This is basically all good as well, I think. I'm happy with it. So we'll fill these in. And the front's gonna be easy. It's the back that's gonna be a bit of a bite. That one's good. That one's good. Uh, maybe we can give a quick whack with the hammer, but not too bad. Okay, so right here is where it starts getting a little, a little spacey, but I get right beside it, clamp it. Should I go buy some? They sell vice grips with like a little pin in them for this exact purpose. I should really invest in some of those. I'll watch the Princess Auto Flyer when they come on sale next. Okay, so that's good. And this one's got a bit of a, a little bit of a way to go, but same thing. Clamp it. We'll weld it. I didn't weld the pliers to the car. So that kind of holds it. We can just give it a... Gentle little massage. Should be fine. So I'm just gonna kind of keep doing that as we go. Clamp it. The old clamp and spack as they call it. I think that's what Bad Chad does. Uh, maybe Chip Foose, I who I learned this from. Gene Winfield. That's actually perfect, just like that. Oh, rusty. There we go. That looks all right. So I'll kind of keep working that and then it probably looks a little goofy because it's got this extra overhang. We'll just zip cut that right out. And no one will ever know. And honestly, I think we're going to be massaging that to fit the big tires anyways. And let's be honest, forget the Camaro. You might as well have some big tires. Let's see how we can do it. 
work my way around, come back when it's all uh, kind of dialed together. Oh, so we can just bend it up with the pliers. That's pretty slick too. Man. So the inside's all kind of plug welded together. Came out pretty good. Uh, same thing along here. Buzz that all in, you know, plugged it along there. So it's pretty solid. I don't know if I want to repair this bit or not, or just kind of leave it. I mean, it is what it is. Much effort I want to put in. Uh, a few things, you know, the old can of worms effect uh, starting to happen, but nothing too serious. Uh, so I cleaned up in there, just so it's kind of ready for some seam sealer and whatnot. Uh, like the guys didn't clean up any of these welds. While I was under here though, I did notice that the front spring is in fact uh, hanging on for dear life. So that's that. But I assume whoever's you know buying this thing, you want to change maybe the leaf spring anyways. Well, now I know you are. But uh, it'll move under its own power. Maybe. Um, what else we got? Oh yeah, back here. So we have, this is from the last video actually, but the pan is right up against there. So I mean, whoops. Just a little bit of fitment, a little bit of a hammer smack, same over there. And then, uh, yeah, we can see here, this is the tail pan going into the uh, trunk drop. So we always kind of push that in a little and weld that. But overall, it, uh, it came together pretty good under here. I can't really complain. We got just maybe a, not even a quarter inch gap in the back of the frame. So we'll give it a, a smack, or honestly, I mean, we could, uh, pull it in a little but that should be good and then well, this light same thing around here and then this list spring is hanging in the back doing nothing but all together in the front and actually it's not even that rotten up in there which is pretty nice I had to build all that in the last car this is the only section of the frame oh yeah it's definitely she's crunchy so we might just cut a little section out and weld a well, the piece of it's nice and flat and easy, so that's nothing to do. Uh, the other thing I noticed, the guy, this side's actually not too bad. He he put rear frame uh, pieces on, and he plated it. So this side actually did a decent job. This side, uh, less less of a good job. So it was either the first one or the Friday one, but we'll clean that up. Maybe just run a bead of weld down there. And I think that's pretty solid, pretty solid car. I mean, for what these things are, we'll reweld that. We'll fix up that little section under there, uh, a little bit of seam sealer, and really, it's ready for like undercoat and paint. As far as I'm concerned, I think I should probably do that. Make it look kind of, kind of decent. Tires in my way. Otherwise, yeah, up in here, I don't see a whole lot of issues. I mean, he welded the pans in. He did. Uh, what did he do there? Well, we just kind of lapped them over top. That's a bit of a, a bit of a hack job. But if you want, you could come around and cut that out, or just seam seal that. And let's be honest, that's that's probably fine. But all here, this is all the structure piece I had to weld in and make. It's a little flaky, but that's decent. Up in there, that's actually really nice. Other than the leaf spring is non-existent. Yeah, spiders. Nice, nice little car. Yeah, I mean, a good project for somebody. You know, it's a little rotten on the bottom here, too. So we'll have to plate that top and bottom. But pretty minor for ugliness. On the other car, we did, uh, I think I did half rails on both sides. I did the same thing. I plated it. So, yeah. I'll uh, do something. I'm probably going to get, I'm going to clean up under here a little bit, do some of that. Maybe we'll finish off the other quarter. Maybe we'll do the quarter tonight and finish this off tomorrow. Let's see how motivated I am. I should probably do under the car so I can undercoat the back half tonight before we go in. That sounds terrible. So instead of working under the car, we're gonna finish the other quarter panel because I don't have any undercoating anyways. So I thought I could get the ugly stuff done, undercoat it, and let that kind of you know dry overnight. But uh, well, when I don't have it, it can't dry. This side actually fit a little bit better. The back came in nice and I just got a few clamps holding the front in. We got our holes drilled. Up here needed a little bit of massaging, but I think we kind of got it. 
also, oh, I don't have to wear my self tappers. Mental note, I need to get more self tappers. <laughs> You're going through a lot of self tappers. I really do. I should actually, you know, I should see if Amazon has some. Oh, tires in the way. I just ordered a bunch of uh, zip discs and grinding discs and stuff like that. Ooh. I should have seen if they can get some. So I'm just going to kind of give this a quick tack. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. There's still some solder in there. I'm gonna blame the previous owner. Okay, that's that's pretty decent. I should be able to plug these up real quick. grab my light because I can't see a damn thing. This welding mask is really dark. It's like it's designed that way. The problem, I think, I got all this light behind me. Oh. And then when you're in a tight spot, it's like, holy. Or I'm just getting old and can't see either way. It looks like hair is burning. I wonder whose it is. Whoops. A little hot, a little hot. Perfect, perfect. Should be good. Perfect. Okay. So now here, what we're gonna do is kind of dueling vice grips. So we'll just get it clamped where we want it. A little rusty. This top one plugged up. Ooh. That didn't go nice. That'll have to be redone. But I'll just kind of split the difference. Like it. This is way easier than having a cell tap all the time. And ultimately, it'll do the same job. This side of the car is way rustier for some reason. It must have been in the, the rain side. The north side, maybe. This may need a little bit more grinding. Oh, genuine vice grips are a pain in my ass. What the hell? We also need vice grips. We didn't look. Actually, since I saw it yesterday, we should have bought some. Merce is. Always get a new pair of ice grips. Okay, so that's all good. This top piece, I really kind of butchered it there. Still smoking a fair bit. Smoky. Let me fold it on the edge. Clean up with the grinder after. Oof. Okay, so that's all good. Oh we got our... What? Quite the well. Yeah, it's a little ugly up there. Don't show it too close. And this, I think, is supposed to be plug welded, but I like to just kind of seam weld it. The reason being, 
when I was 17 on my 72 Le Mans, I, uh, we plug welded oops, the quarter panel on and then when 17 year old Dan was doing burnout, acting like an idiot, I crashed into a street light and the pole hit right here, it folded the entire quarter panel out. Which makes me think, that probably didn't weld it good enough. So now, Wise Dan welds the crap out of it. Right? We appreciate it. Wise Dan. People have really been giving me a hard time on this thing about how I, I think I'm just hacking it together and I'm like a greasy car salesman and stuff like that. Well, I thought I was doing a. Trying to have, sell a finished car here for 50 grand. I think people need to pretend that you're 17 again and you got a Camaro and a bunch of junkyard parts. This is what you would build and have a good time with, right? That is the problem with hot rodding sometimes. Oof. I just got to power through those welds. Is everybody just thinks everything has to be perfect all the time? Well, people definitely like to think it's their way or the highway. And that if they don't think it's hard, it shouldn't be allowed. Well, I get it. It's a Camaro. It is kind of a, you know, even a crappy, crappy Camaro is still a Camaro. But if they wanted it nice, they should have bought it. I have said that a few times in the comments. So you want to buy it? It's for sale as is right now. No one has uh, showed up with their fancy trailer and a pocket full of cash. Okay, that's where I leave it for now. We'll clean up a little bit. That's an actually fit really nice. Well, I think you're doing a great job, honey. You're pretty easy to convince. Yeah, this side fits better than the other side. The door and the other side we got to adjust, but. But not that much. The other, the other side of the doors has to go forward, but this one, like all the, everything yeah, lines up. Good. Gotta twist it a little bit, but that's a pretty good little fitment. So there you go. Another day, another hack. So tomorrow I Actually, will- Actually, I have uh, an idea what we should do instead of selling it. Let's just push it back out on the field. Oh yeah. And let it rock. Like the last guys did. Yeah. This thing, I would love well, to know. You have to get goats and stuff too to jump on. I would love to know how long this thing was a project for, because that the guy I got it from, it was a project. He bought it as a project, and I don't know if the guy before him did it or what. But based on, I wish there were some dates on some of these doors. Maybe there is in the stickers or something like that. It'd be cool to see if they were dated as to when uh, when they were bought or manufactured. I don't see anything obvious. I mean, I bet it's at ten years at least. So. It may not be perfect, but it'll be on the road and it'll be much, well, the furthest along it's been in a car, to a car in, a, in many years. So, can't hurt my feeling. Anyway, that's it for tonight. We'll be back at tomorrow. It'll be ugly under there. I might just kind of do my thing on my own, fix the frame, uh, weld the back in and kind of undercoat it. And realistically, we can kind of do that. Then it's drop it down. I don't know if I should fix the rockers or just kind of leave them as is. Cause you start bubble gumming them together, it's a little ugly. Well, it's one of those things too where you are trying to sell the car as honest as possible. Well, honest as possible. And I mean, if, if you really wanted, I'd rather a guy look at it and go, oh, it needs rockers and put a full rocker on than me scab in a patch and then fiberglass it and then be like, you know, the guy is under the impression that maybe it's the car's a little better than it is. It's a good car. It's not a great car. It's a very good builder. And, uh, you know, it'd be, be a great first car, stuff like that, or someone who just wants something that's, you know, a nice driver. You're not trying to, you know, you put a nice paint job on it, take it to the car show on Sunday and be proud of it. But, you know, it's not an award winner, at least uh, not without a bunch of money. I think you'd start with a better car. So, and it's down low. No one can really notice. We'll primer it. It's going to be what it's going to be. I got glass, actually. I picked up a windshield today. Tomorrow the back glass shows up, so you got to watch for the UPS band when you're home. And then uh, we can start welding the top, glass front and back, side glass in. Like, it'll happen to Hurley once we get the underneath done. Man, the mosquitoes are crazy. Let's go in. See you tomorrow. 
Okay, it's the next day. Um, I started working just a little bit. kind of see what we were working with. Uh, I cut a piece of the frame out. Honestly, you know what? <laughs> what happened was, what had happened is, it kind of started getting this like rust jacking, you know, between obviously it's a two layer deal, I guess. So I cut it all out. And I mean, if you look at the backside, it's still fine. It's still plenty thick. It is what it is, but it looked like, it looked like hell and uh, whatever. I got some thick, I got some 10 gauge maybe, 12. It'll be thicker than this. Cut a little piece out, we'll weld that in and it'll be fine. So we'll get the camera set up. There's a little bit on the underside too. We'll grind on it a little bit. It might just need just a little, a little bit of plating or something. Where's it end? I mean, if you want this car to be perfect, it needs a frame rail. But uh, I mean, it's had the back piece put in, it's had the front piece scabbed together. How much original sheet metal do you want, I guess? Uh, but everything else is kind of in there. Uh, yeah, so a little ugly. Well, I'll get this cut out real quick on the table, also known as the zip disc in my knee. We'll cut it out. You know what it is? It looks like it's double wall just in this one section, right where the uh, the pad is, and then it just goes back to regular sheet metal. So, anyways, just like this, we'll have a new piece. We'll get welding it in. Okay, well, I skipped ahead a little bit. Mer stopped by. Life happens, but. Uh, there you go. It's all welded up, not too bad. A little bit right there, I might put a little seam. Well, I'll seam seal the whole thing just cause, but that turned out good, strong, better than it was. Um, I wire wheeled this, so that's, yeah, I mean, whatever. I don't wanna judge the guy's welds. They're not fantastic, but they're there. So I'm gonna re-weld around the side and, you know, at the top a little bit. Ouch, and then this side, is actually uh, not as bad here, but there's nothing there and there, so I mean, might as well just give it a quick weld. And then, which he, and he did do it, he did a good job. He welded from the top down to the top of the frame rail, so we'll clean up. There's a few spots where he went a little wide, and uh, you know, a little bit of a little bubble gum here and there, so we'll clean up some of that. Uh, honestly, though, I mean, it is what it is. This is a little rough in there. I don't know why this piece is all, but we'll, we'll clean that up. We'll seam seal it. It'll look uh, the same as the factory would have done, ish, the DD Speed Shop factory. We'll carry on from there. Luckily, Danielle's out here, just waiting to hold the camera. Yep. So we get some live action on that. Oh, I still actually gotta hold this up, make that happen. But realistically, that should be it. I think otherwise, so we'll clean up some of the welds, we'll wire wheel just the ugly stuff off. And we should start to be able to undercoat. Um, I'll probably fix this. I know I said I wasn't going to, but that'll be in another video when I'm in the mood for it. I wanna be, be done underneath this thing and work up top for some reason. I got the, the front and back glass showed up today. So I like to get the quarters done, sand it down, maybe get some of that uh, Rust converter, let that work its thing, put the glass in. I mean, we'll paint it after and everything. I just want this thing kind of hoarded in looking like a car. We're getting there day by day, but when you work under the car, it doesn't look like you've accomplished anything, even though it's the most important part. So, make that make sense. All right, it's a little bit of a rough angle here, but we got expert Danielle on it, so we'll see what we can accomplish. Close your eyes. Ooh, that's not great. That's not bad. There's some junk, junk in there. Oof. Oof. Oh, there we go. She's a little, uh, she's a little gross in there, but. Let's see what we can accomplish. A grinder makes you the welder you ain't. Welding overhead too. Lame. Eh. I don't say they're my proudest welds. But they're better than nothing. Eh. Maybe it's the car, it just doesn't want to be welded. Oh there we go. 
That's some good stuff. What else we got going on there? Where you can get it right nice and clean. It's much happier. Oof. She a little she a little globby there. <laughs> wow, the problem is it's so dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna blame the dirt. Shut up, Danielle. <laughs> Who said are you on here? My own. My own side. You know what? That'll grind. That'll grind into a nice weld right there. Okay, other side. Maybe, maybe now I'll do better. Uh, you have some practice. <laughs> There's not enough practice in the world to make me a good welder. <laughs> but you know what? Doesn't stop me from trying. Oh yeah. Oof. It's dirty. Ow. Did get through one of the holes in your hair? I think it created a new one. Oh, I can smell it. give it a pass what we'll do is we'll keep filming from a distance and then uh, oh and then we'll grind it and then we'll show that well I think above your head too it sucks it's like a union welder we'll go ahead and cut it there Come back when she's ground smooth. Yeah. And side wipe into a good finished product. Look at this one again. No. <laughs> nice and she's a little droopy. Shut up. Okay, before all the Danielle welding experts get in here, came up pretty good. I'm happy with it, you know, welded it, ground it down. Yes, could have V'd it out and taken it off and x-rayed it and pipe bolt. Come on, guys. I've seen way sketchier stuff. Uh, we've got that all welded in. I ended up kind of seeing welding in the frame just because why not? Uh, we got this all dialed in. We cleaned up uh, yeah, some of the welds up here. You know, just kind of whatever, doing our thing. Basically, I think it's ready for a little seam sealing and undercoating. You know, there's a couple of funny spots, but we're not really trying to hide anything. We're terrible at this uh, quick flip trying to rip people off. We're not good at it. You just, you keep showing it. That's the problem. This car here, if you're gonna make a nice, nice car of it, I would recommend rear frame rails just cause, I mean, soft in the front they've obviously been fixing the back you know for it has new floor pan new trunk pan to drill it all out and put it in and, and change where the, the shocks are and all that be a big be a decent job but uh, if you're looking for more just a, an everyday driver you can do that not a lot of money a lot of labor but uh, guess what i've learned i don't get paid for my labor so we're not doing that uh we'll get the seam sealer and we'll kind of just smooth that all in there and get ready to kind of undercoat everything and eh, it's going to be what's going to be i mean how much rust grinding do you want to do i'll tell you how much very little very very little there you go you can't even tell it was terribly welded so i've got my seam sealer my squeegee oh you did the job there looks all right so we'll do uh, maybe up here or something like that i don't know what the it's dark so i mean wherever there's kind of ugliness you just kind of well welds i should say 
Just give her a little, a little schmooing of this stuff. This is the perfect. This should be on the more schmoo channel. So it looks all terrible and ugly. I'm just kind of wipe her in there. There you go. Just like factory. And you know what? At the end of the day, <laughs> have you guys seen some of the factory seam sealing? Yikes. Uh, we can go on the outside here. Actually, you can get this side pretty good. So this is where it was, you know, kind of all joined to the floor. So the, the frame goes to the floor there. I mean, just, you know, give her a little, a little shellacking. This is definitely one of those less is more situations. You don't really need that much. There you go. Seals the weld. Makes it look nice and you're gonna undercoat it. And ultimately, it'll be just fine. So I'll kind of carry on, do a few little bits and pieces here and there. I mean, hey, I've seen some guys use a lot of the stuff and spots are not really supposed to do it is not structural, <laughs> but uh, hey, you do you guys on the internet. We'll get this all, what have I got on? Oh no, someone said in the last video where I said I was gonna freak out, but we edited it. They said, let the freak out happen. <laughs> I don't think you guys quite understand. I go from a cool and calm, good looking three to a Pretty ugly 11 in a hurry sometimes. <laughs> so just kind of do this, make it look a little, a little nicer. Again, we're not trying to hide nothing. It is what it is. And then around here, we'll just give her a good schmooing. And there you go. So I'll, I'll get this all kind of did up and we'll come back. We'll undercoat it right quick and it'll look, uh, well, it looked the same, but undercoated. And some of these spots, kind of hard to get in here. You can end up using your hands, like up in the corners here. It's gonna be a nightmare, so. And really, I'd recommend trying not to get this on your hands. And really don't get it on your leather couch, because man, does your old lady let you hear about it. And do not get it in your hair. Yeah, hair and on the dogs. All of those <laughs> are bad. So, we'll get this all squared away and be back shortly. Fast forward, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I had dinner, it was important. So, this is what we got going on now. I gave her a quick undercoat so you can see. Looks pretty decent. Now, <clears throat> sorry, uh, a lot of this stuff, we put some of that rust converter on first, let that kind of flash off, and then went over it with a little bit of undercoating. Now, we're not gonna go perfect, but hey, look how much better this thing looks now with just a little bit of paint on it. Again, we're not hiding nothing. It's all very there. It is. Hey, watch the video. But there you go. It just looks better. It, you know, it kind of paints paints the picture of what you're gonna get. Um, again, I would I would recommend if you're gonna hot rod this thing, you know, maybe a set of frame rails or something like that if you want to go crazy. But if you're looking for just the driver, you're gonna have fun with. No big deal. That being said, this thing would pass. I think inspection here. I wouldn't worry about it whatsoever. Just for a daily driver, and you can't really complain. I mean, yeah. It's a hobby, it's supposed to be fun, right? So there you have it, hopefully everyone's happy with that. I went just a little bit up there, and unfortunately in the lift, it's a hassle to get in there, but I should do just a little bit more. I uh, probably should <laughs> undercoat it before I put the motor and trans in, but such is life, I guess you can't really see too bad, but the, the rockers are actually in really nice shape. All up in here, like the inner section, so it looks, Look, new, new bushings in this thing? Man, someone's gonna have a real nice hot rod here. Uh, okay, so that's where we're gonna leave that. Now I think the next step is gonna be, we'll drop this thing down. I'm gonna start right away, but it'll be a new video for you guys. I know you just wanna watch hours and hours of DD Speed Shop all the time, right? Oh, I gotta take the lock off. Ugh. See, I'm always safe, you guys. I had this. The stands on it and everything. Drop this thing down. So what I want to do in the next video, people have been asking, and I have done zero, zero amount of work checking it, but what this car actually was from the factory, was it a six cylinder, was it a V8 car? 
Uh, what was it? So I want to decode the VIN, stuff like that. I then want to just finish up the welds along here. I want to clean up this area, front and back, just with the wire wheel so it's all good. We have the glass and I want to put the glass in because in my experience, glass sitting around is a recipe for breaking it. So I'm going to try and avoid that. So if we can kind of wire wheel, sand whatever we have to do around here, you know, just, just give it a little bit out so when you're sanding after, you're not going to hit the, the glass once it's in there. I do have the trim, I have the clips, I have everything. I have the goo, I have a Danielle. So if we can get that done, and then same thing, do whatever welding you want to do here so there's no spatter going to be on the glass because it's going to be brand new. So V that out, re-weld it, get in there, make that nice. And then up front, I actually don't think there's a whole lot I got to do. It looks to be in decent shape. The only thing it does not have, and we'll have to figure out, is some way of holding the glass up. There's supposed to be like a couple of, uh, I don't know if they're, what they were, blocks or something like that. We can hold that up just so it kind of supports the glass um, as you glue it in. So that will be next video. So there you go. If you want to see if this thing's a Z28, four speed, all those things, and then someone dressed it up as a automatic, you know, shell, you'll want to come back for that. But thank you so much for watching. As always, comment below. Feel free to let me know about how my welds were today. You know, when you hear it from your old lady, you're a bad welder. The internet, you don't even hurt my feeling anymore. You know what'll make you feel better? Ice cream? No. Oh, what's this? If they went to ddspeechup.ca and bought a t-shirt. Oh yeah, buy a t-shirt, which we don't have one. No, Danny's wearing it? You're not wearing it. We have new shirts, but of course we're terrible at marketing. So there you have it. Next video, top fun stuff. So we'll actually start making this thing look like a car. Because once this is all welded up, a little bit of filler, a little bit of fitment, should go down the road. See you in the next one.